his house. Um, are we back at the old age period again? Well... Oh, they just moved in. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. Old young, old young. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshotted. All the way back to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that, and once again, leapt back, leaped back. To the older times, where we left off. Then, to the earlier ones again, moving forward. And once more, to the older time, moving backward. But why? These jumps aren't in a random order, and nor do they form just any pattern. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. Oh, does something happen when he's younger, like converging on that one point there? It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling toward a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized our fine gentleman? I don't know, maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else? What could be here, other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright, I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Hmm, we'll see. Very strange. Something must have happened during that time, right in the middle. Around when he's... maybe 20s, 30s? One bedroom with balcony, and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit is on the edge. You can see it if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Here, have a brochure. They're still being sold. Is the area quiet? Oh yes, ma'am. It's quiet like a graveyard. Wow. I I mean, uh, uh, y yes, it is. Tranquil. Sorry, it's my first time being an agent. Oh, don't beat yourself up over it. <laughs> Sorry about the mess in the living room. The previous owners had to move in a hurry. Oh. I wonder if the house has anything to do with it. There's a balcony, you said? Yup. It's got a great view. Given how high it is, you can certainly fall and, uh, I mean... Y yes, balcony. Oh my god. Yes. Oh? And this is the kitchen! If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't even had one fire accident. That's great. <laughs> of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burnt down, being an apartment and all. Uh, I, I mean, of course it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um, f fire safety is very important. 
and they still bought this house. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just really new at this. I wonder if something's wrong with the house or just the agent. <laughs> well, maybe you'll have something better to say upstairs. An attic in an apartment! Isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it'll probably hit pretty close. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the whole memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. <laughs> You're right, the music is trying to do that too. On the other hand, it is kind of suspicious that they carved out the single storage attic. Do you want to make a sale or not? It is a pretty spacious apartment for two people though. Even three with Asher. Why would there be a random sink here? Hmm. Am I seeing it right? Is that a sink? The brochure for the apartment. Oh, I wonder if the lake that you can see is that lagoon painting. On the balcony. You said you're a musician, right? This room is perfect for performances. There's very little room for an audience, though, so you'd probably be playing alone. Which is kind of sad, but I digress. Good lord. Also, careful with those stairs, but y'all seem to have rocket hips, so no problem there. <laughs> Thing here? Right. And as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but... If you extend your head off the balcony to the left, <laughs> while risking falling off, you might be able to see a bit of it. Don't though. Pfft, you'd fall off. Okay, on we go! Remember we found an unstable copy here before. Of Colin. Hmm. Something about the balcony convinced him, I think. So, what do you think? Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help at all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like Rano. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm no good at sales. So, um, sorry to be blunt, but are you gonna take it? Cuz there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise I. Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm hmm. You're lucky. <laughs> Fred is very lucky to close out a sale today. Thank heavens. My wife was gonna murder me if I didn't make a sale by this month. Okay, it's kinda... If you're an agent and you only make one sale a month, that's kinda not good either. <laughs> huh. Wasn't this the brochure a moment ago? Eh, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Oh. Being a memento, it's kind of odd that it came to be without us seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. Ah, so it's a paper airplane. I know the timeline is all weird now, but I caught up with a bird story. And that one is about Colin's childhood, where the paper airplane was something important. 
the classroom and the old house. That was also in a bird story. Doesn't explain how this object suddenly changed, though. Strange things are happening in Colin's memories. It's a different airplane. Oh. Well, we can't move. We can hardly move anything. The only thing we can move is the middle. Can we line it up horizontally? Does it work like that? Yeah. Okay. Rude dog. Slinged back again, huh? Yup, your theory still checks out. Okay, let's place bets. What? Bets on what's causing this anomaly, of course. Your guess is versus mine. Oh, get a life. Zip's on first guess, then. Bet you ten bucks it's about a girl. Huh, suddenly a romantic, aren't you? No, just the fact that with these things, it's always about some girl. Uh, I actually might agree with Neil here. It's kind of like how earlier when we saw that stalker person in the woods, I arbitrarily assumed it was a woman, even though all we saw was a silhouette. <laughs> Not everything is about some girl, Neil. Besides, I think we've seen enough from his own memories to say that he's happily married and... What you doing up there? Yes, you! I see you standing up there like that every day! What are you always looking at? There you are! So, got a name? Uh, you do have a name, right? Colin! What? I can't hear you! I said my name is Colin! Huh? You're Colin what? What? No, um, let me just... Write it down? Hold on, I'll be right back! <laughs> he brought the dog inside. <laughs> what a responsible pet owner. What do you know, Eva? It's actually about a girl. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, it's a plush toy. Wait, I thought it was real this whole time. I thought he brought it to the bedroom with him so that it was sleeping and he was bouncing on the... Oh, he doesn't even have an actual pet. It doesn't seem like he's playing with it much. Poor Rudog. This clock again? The cello? Ah! It's flying the plane over. Hey! I'm gonna throw the paper plane over! I wrote stuff on it, so just catch it, okay? I was gonna say just speak louder, but... Okay! Okay, here it goes! Oh! 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 Oh, hold on. At least he gets it back, instead of it falling down. <laughs> it 
dumb kid has no respect for the laws of physics. He's like nine, dude. Hey, it's all right. You need to concentrate, okay? Just keep your eyes on me and throw as hard as you can. If you try hard enough, I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Can young love defy the laws of physics? <laughs> okay, okay, I can do this. Here it goes. <laughs> I saw that coming from a mile away, knowing the humor the devs have. <laughs> you should have seen your determined face! That's not funny. You can't throw it against the wind, silly, no matter how hard you try. What did you think was gonna happen? <laughs> I'm going inside. Okay, wait, wait, don't go! So, Colin, right? I thought you didn't hear. Yeah, well, I think I've actually seen you on the way to school. What does that have to do with... Oh, it's the, it's the cello. <laughs> you go to the one just across the woods from here, right? Yeah? Oh, well, I go to the one just across the street from yours. There's two schools? Across the street from each other? <laughs> the private school? Yup, yup. Lucky. Why? Well, cause it's all exclusive and costs money and stuff. Oh, hmm, I guess. People are all snobby there, though. They are? Nah, I'm just trying to make you feel better. Hey, let's walk to school together next time. Why? Because I like you, silly. You're just the right amount of dumb. What's that supposed to mean? Besides, have you heard about the bear attacks in the woods? No, I've only seen badgers. What did you hear? Oh no, I didn't hear anything either. But that's why I'm suspicious. It's a little too quiet. Anyway, we practically go the same route, right? It'll be good to stick together. I guess so. Faye, who are you talking to across the street? Oh. What was that? Hmm? She just ran back in when they came out. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Uh, it's not that uncommon for kids to be scared of the parents. Ah, uh, okay, so I've played the To The Moon minisodes, and in that, there was a really quick reference to Neil's father, so I wonder if he's talking about himself here. Back when I was young, I knew a kid who had one scary mother. Saw her spanking him with a spatula once. Never ate her brownies after that. <laughs> mm, I hope that kid wasn't like being mistreated at home or something. Yeah, cause she wasn't even like, oh hi mom, hi dad. She just ran back in. Oh, this is weird. Colin hated playing the cello as a kid. Colin loved playing the cello as a kid. Because he lied to us and then- Wait, who told us? Colin plays a cello. Apparently not well, though. Ooh, I feel like we're starting to get some mixed information here. Not sure what that means, though. Hmm. Oh. 
What a weirdo kid. He might be in love. Oh, another clock. Don't you dare do anything. I'm getting this one. Let me at least take it off the wall for ya. No! Just... Don't. It's not even that high. We don't need to take it down. Well, it's nice that Colin made a friend across the street. Whoa, what the heck is that? Is that the rug or something? What? What the heck is on the ground there? Why is he practicing in the bathroom? Because the bathroom reverb makes it sound awesome, of course. You sure seem knowledgeable. Back when I played the triangle. I did it all the time. A triangle. Practice makes perfect, kid. Wow, not even the fabled bathroom reverb could save that crap. He's like nine, dude. Cut it out, Neil. Okay, let's get out of here before he gets ready to attack our ears again. <laughs> Watching TV, practicing cello, that's all he got. On the upside, I wish I had the TV all to myself when I was a kid. You and Rudog. So, is Neil not an only child? Today's classical guitar concert is sponsored by Meow Blend. Why can't we have a jingle this catchy? One can only dream. Coming up next on Classics Replay, The Godfather. Is that age appropriate? Hold on, I kinda wanna stay and watch this one. <laughs> Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter is to be married. And you ask me to do murder for money. Wow, a bit heavy for a kid. No parents home. No regulations, no rules. Yes, same line. Okay. What about the bedroom? The book. The green book is here. But we're done though. We still have no clue where his parents go to for long stretches of time all the time. The clock again. Some blanks help to remember, some help to forget. What? Oh, what does that mean? Oh, so moving the green through- Ah, okay, I see, I see. We probably don't want the the red one, because that makes you forget. Okay. Well, in that case... Um... We can make more. We can just keep manufacturing more and more. Not good enough yet. There we go. I think Into the Moon, they never changed up the mechanics of that mini game. So it's nice to see that there's some little bit of change in the mechanics here. It's pointing at a different time. Didn't read it though. What room is this? People are looking for you, you know? Nervous for your last performance here? Mmm, that's right, mom performs. 
I'm not nervous. It's just... I've played in this theater for so many years. It feels strange to just have this be the last. Well, you never know. We can always visit. This place isn't going anywhere. I saw what you were gonna play, by the way. Not my most virtuosic piece, huh? Well, I kinda like that one, but I thought you didn't. I guess it's grown on me. I knew it! Just a little. Hey, we still got some time before the concert starts, right? Go and get your cello and come play with me for a bit. That'll help calm my nerves. I thought you were nervous. She's just saying that. Last performance. Who's got the best nose? You do! Oh yes, you certainly do! What are you looking at? Must be an actor trying to psych himself up. <laughs> hey, whatever works, man. So, what did you want to play? Doesn't matter much, really. Why don't you just play your scales, and I'll do that accompaniment for it? <laughs> Are we trying to calm you down or me? I happen to find the simple things mindless and relaxing. Fair enough. Even though it's a simple scale song. Man, she's doing all the work while he's just playing the scales. Didn't you use to play the triangle in band? Yes, and the triangle is one of the most nuanced and misunderstood instrument there is. Much like yourself. He's not just playing the scales, is he? They sure try hard to play some fancy scales. I mean, roughly it's the scales, but I don't think it's just the scales. I think Sophia played the accompanied Colin scales. They must have been married at this time already. Yeah, there's no problem with the marriage at all. They love each other. They make up for each other's shortcomings, all that good lovey-dovey stuff. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh, it's Asher. I <laughs> Asher looks a lot like Colin when he's younger. What are you doing slacking off up there, Ash? Oh, come on! I've already set up a whole row of chairs. Rebellious stage. I even named it, Asher's Row. Everyone who sits will pay a toll. Oh? I'll let that take care of your allowances then. Not cool, Dad. Oh hey, where's Mom? Not sure. I'm gonna go look for her. That's why you need to get your butt down here and help. Blah, alright. And then we saw when he went into the room to find his wife. What? Um... Time is a place. That's the piece that she's gonna play here. Hey, have you guys seen Sophia? 
Check the practice halls. I saw her going there. Thanks. Will do. Y'all should visit, by the way. We're gonna miss having her play here. Aye, we will. Aye? <laughs> and they never did. You don't know that. So that tells me that Neil wouldn't. <laughs> Asher, Asher? The lad grows young so fast. <laughs> it's kind of weird because we just saw him at age whatever he was. Man, this place is perfect to play Chair Pac Man. Chair Pac Man? You get stuck pretty easily. Do your job, Asher. Gosh dang it. What the? Okay, that's definitely not normal. It's flickering into another memory. Uh, or not? Oh, that is... Any idea what that was about? How should I know? Cause you're the specialist! Well, you are the technician. And to be fair, this isn't the only weird thing that's happened this trip. Are you sure you didn't forget a wire or miss a calibration? How dare you! My calibrations are as spotless as Bambi's butt after he lost his spots. Okay, okay. I'm just saying you should keep an eye open. It could be the machine screwing up, but... It's not reassuring. We don't want to get trapped in here. And that's why we have the patient monitor. The heart rate monitor. He's still alive, so that's good. Oh. Did we see the memento? Is it the cello again? Yes. See, we're getting more and more cello pieces, and they're all like conflicting information. Cello is the green. Um. Oh crap, but now we can't move this one over here. Uh oh. Hold on. That's difficult. And they all turn into clocks. We don't want clocks. Um, I'm trying to think here. They just keep turning into clocks. We don't need clocks. Uh, this one seems a little bit harder. Is we can't move that. And we can't move the two on the top there. Down here. Um. Maybe I can line up the clocks and get rid of some of them? Oh! Like that. Yeah, I think we have to do some advanced clock maneuver work here. Oh. Hold on. Here we go. Now we can get it to a position where we can actually manipulate it a little bit. Uh, enough clocks? We need the clocks to go away. Or we can do this. Oh, thank the lord. You know what's weird? What? This memory is of his wife's last concert, yet we didn't see any of her concert itself. There was a flicker of it back there, I guess. 
Still, self-absorption, ahoy? Perhaps, but it depends. Yeah, I guess it makes sense that he remembers this part because he was here. But he should have been at the concert too, so that is a little bit weird. What we see here is largely influenced by his actual regrets after all. Try to remember that what we see here has more to do with relevance than importance to him. Mmm, okay. Makes sense. Ah, uh, something still feels odd to me. But alright, see you on the other side. Walking to school with a... girl? Come on! It's just up ahead! Yeah, yeah, I know where it is. Why do we have to come so far just to play some music anyway? Have you seen the view up there? It's unreal! Besides, no one would be around to tell me I suck at cello. You suck at cello. Eh, you get a pass. Race you to the top! That girl from the balcony, huh? I don't know if his wife would like this. It's not much to fuss over, they were just kids. And besides, this was long before Collins even met Sophia. Still, the memories we see here tend to be relevant to his real-time regrets, right? Yeah, so you could interpret it as being him regretting that he doesn't keep in contact with her or something. It's not our job to judge. Let's just see how it goes. I'm sort of convinced at this point that the silhouette we saw at the park when he was old is that girl. But uh, we really don't know. She was ecstatic too, so I'm not... So Colin might not have remembered it, but it happened? But his subconsciousness stored it? Okay, just give me a moment. And you wanted to race to the top, huh? It's a shallow. You try carrying this thing uphill. Not to mention, you're like, weightless. Hey, it was your idea. New idea. Break time. It's just a cello. It's all hollow inside. You carry it then. <laughs> what you need is some real exercise. Oh? Hey, what are you doing? Hop off! We're gonna roll down the hill and die! Wow, so grim. I thought you just said I'm weightless. At least be a little consistent. Why are the best places always so hard to get to? What's the point if it just tires me out to get there? Oh, Colin, but look around. Look at the amazing view you've had so far. The journey counts too, right? Might as well just close my eyes and pretend I'm there. You're such a downer, you know that. Look at me! I'm Colin! I just roll around and complain all day! You can stay here if you wanna, but I'm going places. Maybe she moved out of the country or something. We don't know where she went in present time, but they definitely parted. Which is not a surprise, seeing as how they're like 10 here. All it takes is for one family to move away. Oh, that's a cello case. The thing we saw in the house. So, what can you play? 
Just the scales, sort of. Still? But it's been months! Hey, not everyone's got those fancy private tutors like you. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Hmm, why don't you play a bit and show me? Okay, but it's just the scales, you know? Ugh. Well, it could be worse. It could always be worse. Don't you practice? Yeah, but it's so boring to play the scale over and over. I wish I could just jump directly to play melodies. You can't take shortcuts in life, Colin. Here, why don't you play it again? Alright, here it goes. See? With the right accompaniment, anything can be a melody. Isn't that what Colin and his wife were playing in The Lost Memory? Yeah. That's kinda... yeah. <laughs> can we judge now? Oh, that is a little bit strange. It's like sharing your favorite pastime with two different girls. So, well, I don't want to judge because he is like nine here. So what? How did that even happen though? So when Colin met Sophia and they play instruments, was he just like, okay, well, my my girlfriend when I was nine, we used to do this together. <laughs> For a kid, she's pretty good at the guitar. Guitar. And the wife does piano. You know what's interesting about this memory, though? These early memories of his are way more vibrant than the more recent ones. Yes, yes, yes! You know the one thing that kept happening in the later ones? Staticky stuff. But when we're here, there's no static. Are you suggesting Alzheimer's? A possibility? Always. But even so, perhaps just early stage. Not all of his earlier memories are clearer than the recent ones, only some in particular. Alright, because I'm not sure how I feel about rewatching the notebook. <laughs> There's so many pop culture references here. He sure brought that song a long way into the future. Well, to be fair, it's just a scale. What I'm more curious about is how his wife knew the same accompaniment to it. Yeah, like how does that conversation even happen? We have so many multiples. Yeah, a thing Fade played that accompanied Colin Scales on the guitar. This one is Sophia playing on the piano. Cello, cello. Many repeats. Still missing one more. Oh, huh. we haven't found the memento yet. Nor the last orb. Oh. Uh, why did you take that? No reason, I just like them. <laughs> okay, can we just keep the setting intact? You're kind of ruining the colors. <laughs> hey, the green book is here. An empty cello case and a weathered green book. There we go. He sure likes taking that book everywhere. I'm actually surprised it's not getting blown away by the wind. It doesn't get wet from the rain. It doesn't get blown away by the wind. It's a magic book. So that's not the memento. Ooh. 
what could be the memento? Don't tell me it's a mushroom. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Um. Oh! Please, no. Is that a hibiscus? Wow, those are some giant flowers. I think it's a hibiscus? Yeah, we can judge now. We can judge now. <laughs> Odd place for a wild one to grow, though. Could it be that his memories are still messing up here? Little things here and there don't seem to make sense. Which one was this again? Cello? Oh wow, we, we gotta make all of it ourselves. Dang. Okay, well, we gotta get rid of some of the pre-existing ones then. Get rid of that. Now we got three. And... There we go. 